hey guys welcome to the video today uh, it's been a bit of a delay so it's been a while since I've uploaded um, so I got a new bike which is here um, I got it about a month ago now and I've just had things get in the way so I was gonna hopefully do a video riding it down at Forest of Dean but that ended up I ended up being ill so we didn't end up going so I haven't really had a proper chance to ride I've only ridden it once so far and that was just up locally um, so yeah I thought I'd just do a bike check for now and we'll, we'll get some riding in afterwards so let's go uh, have a look at the bike so this frame is a 2018 transition scout I bought this for a few reasons purely because it's geometry number wise it's very similar to the Marin um, you've got short 425 chain stays a nice short seat tube I can't remember exactly what it is but it's less than 430 which is what's on the Marin so nice and short on there uh, about a 450 reach and then a 65 degree head tube angle which all works pretty well um, it's a really good frame it fits me very well I do like it a lot as you can see it's had this very nice custom gum metal paint job on it which was done by the previous owner before I bought it and then I put these stickers on which came from Slick Graphics so the 2018 transition scout sticker set matte finish with Fox 40 Battleship Grey is the colour, so it looks real good. And we've got matching matching colour and finish on the fork legs as well, so it all looks really good. So I bought this frame with a, without a shock, uh, and then I bought this, uh, this Fox DPX2 uh, Performance Elite, which is wonderful, it gives 130 millimetres of rear wheel travel, which pairs up with a Fox 34 at the front, this came off the Marin, uh, so I had to change the stickers, but other than that, and it had a bit of a bit of tidy up done on some of here, just a bit of paint, just to clean it up a little bit, but they look super good, and they work really well, they're 150 millimeters of travel, 27 and a half inch wheels, both front and rear on this. So yeah, for wheels, we have Nutri Horizon V2s, which I robbed off the Marin as well, and these are wrapped in Schwalbe tyres, we've got a Magic Mary in the front and we have a hands damp over in the back there uh, both 27 and a half by 2.6 the front is the soft compound and the rear is the speed grip compound just for a bit faster rolling uh, and they work really good it's a real good tire combo so look forward to getting some use out of them so for brakes we've got SRAM Kodar front and rear the rear brake is brand new however the front one is off the Marin because uh, I left the rear brake on the Marin internally routed in case I ever want to use that frame again I don't have to faff with all that stuff so I managed to get the rear one uh, got it on sale from Chain Reaction Cycles for 50 quid I think instead of the retail 150 or whatever so pretty good deal on that these have the uh, SRAM centerline rotors uh, 200 in the front and 180 out in the back there they work super well moving on up to the cockpit we've got the DMR uh, handlebars the Unite stem uh, you like spaces as well the code are levers berg tech bartender pro grips in the in the gray and the trp shifter over here no dropper lever as you can see another fun little bit of interestingness is so this bike actually came with a headset so i bought a second hand off pink bike this frame uh, cost me 550 pounds out of the shock and it came with this wonderful wonderful hope headset these are about 100 quid by themselves uh, they're really good. They've got these rubber seals on the top and then they've also got rubber seals at the bottom here as well Which is really nice. So they're gonna last a real good amount of time, which is nice So moving on back, you'll see we have the lack of a dropper seat post I was gonna put the E13 one off the Marin on here uh, But the insertion depth isn't very deep on this frame. So it's stuck out real far. So I decided just to go with this. It's a uh, Brand X fixed seat post so nothing to real nothing real fancy with the Berg Tech Trailhead saddle, which is very nice. Hope seat clamp, yeah, and this is actually a 30.9 seat post, but the seat post diameter on the frame is 31.6. So it's actually got a Cane Creek uh, shim in there as well. So just to, just to make it all fit. Uh, so yeah, we've got the Race Face Atlas cranks. They're really good. They've been a little bit worn, but they're still really good condition. So that's awesome. They're 170 millimeters in length, uh, which is about the perfect for me. Uh, this is the cranks paired up with uh, the Bergtech penthouse pedals. These are the same pedals I've had for ages, so we've all seen those before. And then 
this is news to me, we've got a Burgtech oval chain ring. It's 32 teeth oval. Um, from what I've tried so far, it seems really, really good. I really like it. However, the clearance on the frame here is very, very small. Uh, so the bike shop actually recommended I switch to a round chain ring. But I'm going to push this to its limits and see how long we can go before I desperately need to change it. So fingers crossed. Moving back, we've got a TRP DH7. Uh, I'm so glad I finally got to use this. So I bought this to go on the GT downhill bike about a good four or five months ago now. So it's just been sat around, but it works really well. And I do really like it. So it's fun to have something interesting. It's got this tiny little cassette. So this is the seven speed, DH7, seven speed, paired with the SRAM GX seven speed downhill cassette. And then all of this is joined together with a SRAM 11-speed uh, chain. I can't remember the exact model model number of it, but um, it does the job, so it all works really well. And then last but not least, we've got this Fidlock bottle cage, which actually has the wrong bolts in it at the moment, so I can't use it, but I need to swap that around. But yes, we've got the Fidlock bottle cage on there, which is nice. So I will be able to have water when I'm riding this bike, which is nice. So a quick thing I forgot to mention while the bike was still outside is, so the bushings here for the the shock so you got the one here and the one there and then down the bottom as well as one either side uh, they're not actually stock it didn't come with any bushings so but luckily uh, I managed to design some and my dad managed to build some so these are actually homemade my dad made them on the on his lathe out of some plastic I don't know what the exact type of plastic is but they seem to work really well so I just thought I'd mention that as well because it's kind of cool that they're not not factory they are completely unique to this bike which is pretty cool so yeah thank you very much for watching Hopefully you enjoyed. That's the new bike. I really like it. Hopefully you guys like it as well. Looks really good. Rides really good, more importantly. Fingers crossed we'll get out riding somewhere interesting soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you've got any questions about the spec or anything, just drop them down in the comments. And I'll try my best to get back to you. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and all that jazz. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.